What's up YouTube and welcome to episode 20 of my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke challenge uh, for the Game Boy Advance. Um, I am Insane Dragon Knight HD and in the last part we were here in the Rocket Hideout and in this part we will be going through the Rocket Hideout and, ho and hopefully fighting Giovanni in this episode. Now this is a long episode. This man's gonna say, Boss said you can see ghosts with the self scope. Yeah, the still scope is an important story uh, item in this game. We're going to need it later because we're going to need it to, in order to get through the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town, which you will see later. So I must. So uh, the whole idea of a Punch Out Let's Play is now possible because I can actually beat Great Tiger easily now. I used to think he was hard, but blocking his attacks is actually really easy. Um. Uh, if you're wondering, he has the magic punches that basically, yeah, they are really annoying to dodge, but they are somewhat, but they're really annoying, but it's really fast to dodge, too. Um, so, yeah, obviously I got a text from my friend right now. Now... Now, uh, the government, uh, the government law was, uh, repealed, apparently, um, by the U.S. Parliament. So, apparently, that law where they could spy on your ISPs and stuff, it wasn't just a U.S. law, it was a world law. And then the European Parliament, thank you, Europeans, for, for repealing this law, so we do not have to deal with it anymore. But there is going to be a, a kind of an issue that... But it's not really going to affect copyright or anything like that. It's just going to be like a FBI is going to clean up some stuff. Clean up some uh, some of the DNS servers. In case you don't know what the DNS is, that's what allows you to uh, send emails and stuff to people and talk to people on other computers. But basically, I might, they said the internet might be down for some people. So my internet could be down um, on Monday. Uh, it's it's really no big deal. It's only one day I know episodes, but yeah. So if you guys give me uh, five likes on this video, I will release another episode in the same day. If you guys give me ten likes in an episode, I will release a long episode in the same day. Because I because I love you guys and I want to give you guys what you guys what you guys want. So, I have, so, yeah, it's pretty, um, really, I don't know what, well, really, I don't know what to talk about except for what's about me. So, in case you're wondering, I am, like, I am, like, I am 15, um, I've been playing Pokemon ever since I, I've been watching Pokemon ever since I was four. Now, yeah, I got into Pokemon at a really young age, and I managed to stay with it through my entire life. Because, yeah, Pokemon is a lot better than any other series I've watched and any other game I've played. Because, I mean, I mean, who doesn't love training animals with special powers? I don't see why people don't enjoy that. But I have seen some, but I have seen some haters that go on people's videos and say, Pokemon is gay. I'm not trying to hate on you if you are one of those haters, but, I mean, seriously, if you hate it, the best thing to do is to not even like comment on it so there's an item that's gonna be a moonstone if we ever get a Nidorino or Nidoking we can evolve it with the moonstone now obviously Nidoking is a great uh, TM uh, a, a great TM uh, user I really don't know how to explain it but Nidoking can learn practically most TMs that uh, most TMs but if you evolve it before it learns a ground type move it can't learn any new moves which kind of sucks. Considering in my Heart Gold game, I have a Nidoking King and I'm EV training it for high defense. Um, I want a Nidoking King with high defense so that when I basically battle a, when I battle the, when I battle Red, it will show up as a, I will have a really high defense EV stat. I'm getting plus four defense EVs every single time because I'm fighting, uh, obviously, uh, I think Gravelers and Dawn fans. A Graveler does get special defense, so it is heightening my special defense a bit, along with my defense, which is actually pretty good. So, yeah, I will do, I, if you guys want me to do a special on EV training, like I said in the last episode, just um, comment. 
So, yeah, right now we're lost in here, apparently, and, yeah, I'm trying to get the item. Trying to get the item. That's just a super potion. We already have, like, 15 of those, so that was kind of a useless item to get. So, yeah, it, it's very easy to get lost in here, especially if you do not remember uh, much about the game like I have. I haven't played this game in a couple of years. I did beat it a couple of years ago, and I haven't played it in a couple of years. Sadly, I have been a Pokemon fan, but I was too lazy to buy the games until here recently. I wish I would have played them sooner. And the sad thing is, I've never played the games that everybody says is the best. I've never played Emerald. I've played third generation. I just started playing Emerald, and I'd say it's a pretty fun game. Um, obviously, yeah, one of my favorite third gen Pokemon is Curlia, because Curlia is awesome. Um, and Gardevoir is even better. So, yeah, down here, if you get on here, you get a couple of items and stuff. Uh, there's an item right there, which... I could have gotten by just walking up there. So that's a rare candy. That's gonna help us level up a uh, sucker. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Gay name. But that's gonna help us level up sucker because sucker needs to get some levels. And I want it to evolve into uh, Golbat pretty soon and then it to evolve into Crobat because I would love to have a Crobat. Because Crobat is a very good Pokemon to have. It does evolve from Happiness, which does take a while, though. And I think it's Happiness during the day, which means I have to be playing the game during the day. Wait, no, wait, no. This game is just high happiness, because these games didn't really have daytime and nighttime. Well, Fire Red did it. I don't think it did. I'm not sure if it did, but I know Gold and Silver had daytime. Why did I go up? I don't know why I went up, but that was a stupid move because I was going the right way and then I just decided to go up for no apparent reason. So, oh my god. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I know I've I know I'm gonna uh so not much has been going on. So here we're going to have a rocket grunt who's obviously going to see us and say stop meddling in team market affairs or else. Um yeah, we're meddling in your affairs because we can and we feel like... So he's going to send out a, a Rattata, which is like the worst normal type of any generation. I even say that... He, I mean, I don't really like the starting normal types. Like, I don't like Rattata. I don't like... I mean, I like Centric mainly because it evolves into Furret. And they're both cute Pokemon, which is the main reason why I like Furret so much. Um... And then there's, uh, I don't like, I don't, uh, let me see, I don't like Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon is one of the worst Pokemon that they ever made. Um, I like, I don't like Bidoof. Bidoof is just t terrible. Now, now, this, now there's this one thing I do like about Pokemon Platinum. I can get two of the Pokemon that I want in just the beginning of the game. A Starly and a Shinx. I can get a Starly and a Shinx in the beginning of the game. And then that's pretty much it. So in my platinum run off video, I am on the I am on the fifth or so gem, or I'm in fifth gem city anyways, which is why I'm gonna level up a bit to get myself to level 30. Um, I just caught a Ralts, and um, apparently, uh, yeah, Ralts are Ralts is a good Pokemon, but it's um, it's one of my favorite psychic types. Uh, my favorite psychic type being, I think, Gardevoir or Mewtwo. I don't remember which one, but I know Mewtwo is a great psychic type. Considering that in first generation, since there really were no counters against psychic types except for Ghost, Mewtwo could pretty much KO everything, except for Ghost types. Then in second generation, they changed it to where Mewtwo, to where no, to where that there was dark types and then ghost types were affected by a psychic. Because, I mean, imagine if there was no dark types. Psychic types would be kind of hard to defeat. So, next, this man, we're going to get 436 experience, and next, this grunt, and then we're going to defeat this grunt. He's going to say, oof, taken down. Yeah, you lost. You lost to my powerful team. Yeah. So, we're going to give a fresh water to Jake. Now, in the new game, I mean to Steel Wolf, 
Um, in the in the new game, they give you fresh waters every single time you want a. They give you fresh waters uh, every single time you go into a gym, which I thought was pretty convenient because I did like that. Now, now we're in the fourth floor of the rocket hideout. We get a max ether, and max ether r heals PP. Now, up there is a rocket man, which I don't know why I made this take longer, but apparently I, I get lost in this episode, just to let you know, even though I actually know where to go. It's just in this recording, I didn't know where to go, so you guys are going to have to watch another 14 minutes of me being lost. Sorry for that. But I have, but as always, okay, so here we have a train, here we have a Dr. Grunt. We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Yeah, of course, we broke in. Is there some sort of alarm? How do you even know that we came here? I mean, is, I mean, is there some sort of alarm that they, that they turn on and then they say, hey, um, I found you. So we have Machop, which is a fighting and ground type. Um, it's going to use Seismic Toss, which I'm pretty sure is going to do a ton of damage. Well, 21 damage. I'm not the biggest fan of Machop, really. I I know there's better fighting types like Lucario, which are which are just badass Pokemon, and Lucario learns some good moves, like Bone Rush and stuff. I, did, I do enjoy playing as Lucario in Super Smash Bros. He is overpowered. I am now. I heard that now. I got a new subscriber. Obviously, I asked. I said I was trying to do 100 subs, and Ray Dash 20 and this is Ray Dash 2025. The guy I was talking about earlier. The guy who made my BG, which you can't see because of the stupid new YouTube layout. He is an awesome dude, and I told him I was trying to get 100 subs, and then he just subscribes to me to help. I've never seen anyone really that nice. Except for my uh, best friend on YouTube, uh, Stella1544. Um, you should subscribe to her. She's a huge Yoshi fan, as in so am I. That's a fun fact about me. I am a Yoshi fan. I think Yoshi is the cutest thing ever. So, yeah, I could go on about a 29, 20 minute conversation about Yoshi. Because I enjoy Yoshi. Um, Yoshi, I always thought he was cool, cooler than Mario. I always thought they should reverse it to where Mario was under Yoshi. That would be a lot funnier. So there's an item down here. Um, TM21 frustration. What that does is it's basically the opposite of return. If your Pokemon hates you, basically hates you, you will be able to. The move will get more powerful the more your Pokemon hates you, which is weird, but I guess if your Pokemon loses a lot of battles, you kind of want that. Um, but I don't think of Frustration as to be a useful TM, as I don't think of Return to be a very good TM. It is a good TM, but I really don't use Return, because usually I can teach them better moves, and it's not based on friendliness, which, which that is how I would... Um, Test a Riolu's friendliness, and I would give a Riolu that because then I could see how happy the Riolu really was. Um, because yeah, I'm now on my platinum run. Like off video, I am planning to get one. So we already beat that dude, and now we're gonna go down here and and the B4F again. And it's all complicated words and numbers that make no sense, so it's a computer. It's a computer, basically. So we're going to talk to this guy. He's going to say, the elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? So this man has, in case you're wondering, this man does have the lift key. We have to beat him in order to get it. So he's going to send out a uh, coughing, level 21, a poison type, first generation, which is pretty good. We're going to go for the bite and see how much damage that does. That does a fair amount of damage. Not bad, but it's just not good. I don't know why I use, uh, I don't know why I went for the bag, but we're going to go for Steel Wolf because, yeah, as soon as we, I might, as soon as we, uh, I don't know, but I might train a sucker off video and level him up into a Golbat. Um, I will show the, 
I will do my best to show it, to show him evolving, though. I also uh, evolved one of my uh, Pokemon in... I also got something in my Pokemon White game. It was a shiny, I think, Lillipup. I was doing the Nuzlocke, and it was a shiny Lillipup. And I'm sitting there like, oh my god, it's a shiny, but why does it have to be one of my least favorite Pokemon of 5th generation? Now, obviously, Protrat, Protrat, and, um, there's Watchhog. Watchhog does, does learn some good moves, like Hyper Fang, or just like Raticate does learn Hyper Fang and stuff. But they're not good Pokemon, even though some of them do learn good moves. I do, I still do believe that the best normal type is Kangaskhan, because Kangaskhan is just a great uh, normal type. It's very bulky, and it's great for surviving attacks like Earthquake and all them other attacks. But then there's Pokemon like Alakazam, which are absolutely terrible with it. Now, he drops the Lift Key. In case you're wondering what the Lift Key allows us to do, the Lift Key allows us to go in the elevator. Go in that elevator we saw up there. Now we are allowed to go in the elevator. And I think, uh, okay, so I think I spent the next couple minutes trying to find the elevator. So, yeah, if you go up here and you go to the, I think, right. I don't know why I went up, but I did. But I think if you go to the right, there is an elevator there. Nope, I completely... That's the card key door. I keep forgetting that. That door is for the card key, which we will. We're not gonna obtain. We're not gonna obtain that till later. Uh, you go down. No, you don't go down. I don't know. I'm being thrown off by me being lost since this is post commentary, and I was lost when I was recording this episode. So yeah. And and I may talk about future let's plays for a while. I don't know why I walked out. Oh my god, why did I walk out? That's part of the reason why this episode takes so long is because I just gotta waste my time walking around. So, I think, yeah, if you go into the Celadon Mansion, that would be a lady that, that, that gives you something you'll need, which I'm not gonna explain, which we were going to get it. Now, the next episode after this, I am cutting it to just the Giovanni battle because I don't want to show the gym trainers. If I don't show the gym leader, there's really no point. And apparently I'm reading all the signs because I don't... I don't know, but I'm not going to be recording the episode. So, I'm... I guess... But the reason why I'm not going to be recording the episode, I'm going to be recording up to Giovanni's battle because his battle is significant. Even, I didn't record the Erica battle, so there really is no point in recording the Erica battle when I did not record it, so I'm not going to, so I will go back to it when I, if I ever do a, just a normal Let's Play of the game, which I might be doing a, a regular just later, I might just do the original, I might do something called, uh, I don't know, Nostalgia Tuesdays or something, I don't know, but... And as for, there is a Super Mario World Let's Play I might do, um, but I, uh, if the quality is bad, it's because I've actually, I might be filming it on an actual Super Nintendo, because I do own one, and I do own the game, and I'm pretty, uh, happy that I own Super Mario World, it's an awesome game, and I own it on its actual system, so, if you go in here, uh, with the lift key, you are allowed to go up to the, f the fourth floor. If you do not have the lift key, you must go around a long way. So, you must uh, go and fight that one rocket, as you saw before. So, there's an item on the table. Uh, it's going to say, Lyra found a calcium. And calcium is a is good for EV training. But we're not going to EV train in this. So, here we have two trainers. He says, I know you. You ruined our plan plans at Mount Moon. So, I'm guessing this guy is that trainer we bat- that rocket grunt we battled, um, next to that w the kid. So, he's gonna send out a Sandshrew, which is a ground type. Oh, and Sandshrew's- Sandshrew's sprite just looks so cute, doesn't it? I mean, I mean, I like Sandshrew. It's a cute tri- It's a cute, um, ground type. It's- 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 it's, it's just really cute. I just love it. Um, but Sandshrew is not my favorite Pokemon. One of my favorite- 
No, actually, I've been debating my favorite psychic Pokemon, and I say my favorite psychic Pokemon would be Espeon. And if and if Elegant and Sue is watching this, it's probably making him happy because, yeah, Espeon is actually Espeon is actually my favorite psychic type. I've decided it now. So now he's going to send out the evolution of Sandshrew, which is Sand Slash. Now Sand Slash, um, as I said before, it. It is a good Pokemon, decent, uh, it does have decent attack, decent defense, but as for water type defense, not as for uh, special defense, probably not the best, but Sand Slash is a good Pokemon to have in your team. Most people do use it, so yeah. And we're poisoned, I just realized that we were poisoned now. And luckily we bought a, bought a lot of stat boosting items, luckily I'm not, do luckily I'm doing a item uh, I'm allowed to use item Nuzlocke. It would suck if I wasn't allowed to use items. So now the Team Aqua Grunt is going to send out Ekans, which is, I believe, a fire type. Um, it does evolve into Arbok, fire and poison or something, or just poison. I'm not sure. I'm not very familiar with first gen typings. I'm more familiar with fifth gen typings since that is the first, um, that, that is the second Pokemon game I played, and fifth generation is my favorite generation of Pokemon so yeah I was checking out so he's gonna go for the leer with the stupid AI and we're gonna take damage from poison which is gonna do like 10 health so after dealing damage to his Ekans we're gonna defeat this trainer and that's maybe it for him and I hate the beeping because he has burned again yeah you just took oh yeah you just took a KO from my team deal with that my team is bad as yours is, and yours sucks. Eat my dust. Eat my dust, Rocket Grunt. I don't know why I'm ranting on about this, but I am. So, now we're gonna fight the second dude. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? The reason why I can't see the beauty of your evil is because you're so damn ugly, I can't even see your face. Um, and the other thing is, uh, the reason is, I don't get to choose whether I want to join you or not. If I could, I would see the beauty of your evil every single time, but I can't pick, so that's what sucks. Oh, and in case you're wondering, um, I forgot to say this, but you have to fight these two trainers in order to reach Giovanni, the leader. Now, obviously, yeah, Giovanni has is not a very hard leader, although he does. Although you will see his Pokemon later, he does have a good. He does have some bulky Pokemon too. I don't know. Will you go for the rapid spin? Which is going to leave him with 1 HP left, which is kind of what I don't like. How some moves will do 1, H will do one HP of damage. Or leave the foe with 1 HP. That's why it's sturdy. I agree with everyone that is... That says sturdy. It's a bad ability. Sturdy is just, just, just an annoying ability. I mean, for real. Like, it allows you to dodge a KO in... Really, I mean, if you can dodge a KO, I mean, that, that's just wrong. I mean, you shouldn't be able to dodge a KO because it's sturdy. Now, I understand Focus Sash, that's just like sturdy, but without the ability. So, now he's going to send out his the Evolved form of Ekans. It's actually a pretty good Pokemon. Um, it's uh, Arbok. It looks like a Cobra because, yeah, it is, it is modeled off a snake. So, hopefully, um, we can end it because there's only 30 seconds left in this episode, which is great. Um, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, so never mind. So, yeah, obviously, we're going to KO it with the bite, and I really need to stop saying obviously. It's not very good commentary. So, we're going to defeat the rocket grind. He's going to, and obviously, now the door is going to open. So I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we will be fighting Giovanni. See you guys later. And uh, see you guys later, yeah.